Congratulations for the award. Thank you very much. I think it's fantastic because uh, during these events, rarely you recognize the importance of wine, uh, red wine. So how do you choose it? A big thing for us is, uh, is, is wines which, are, which have, have a reason f for somebody to drink them. So that can be all different types of things. We travel all over the place for the magazine that we, that we write, Noble Rot, and we meet producers all of the time, and we're always looking to, to profile and to celebrate those people from interesting and uh, classic regions, but also uh, up-and-coming regions and that kind of thing. But also we're trying to find uh, mature wines and seek out wines that people might not necessarily get the chance to drink um, at home or in the normal run of things. And so we try and create a space at Noble Rot where people can come and try things that they wouldn't normally encounter, whether that be because it's mature or because because it's rare or because it's just from a place that they haven't thought of before. Yeah, I mean Paris is home of the best wine list in the world which is La Tour d'Argent which is where we're going to go and celebrate this tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah. you know a lot of the time you're drinking in, in France and in England as well you're drinking uh, Burgundies and Bordeaux that are very young and they've got premiums attached to them but they need 20 years in the cellar. So that's what we've been trying to do at Noble Rye in London is to find those wines in cellars and in auctions and put them on our list, as well as putting on some of the best up-and-coming or Renaissance wine regions in the world, whether that's like Tenerife or Ribera Sacra uh, in, in Spain, which has got a, a massive kind of Renaissance going on, or Greece, or you know areas of France that weren't popular five years ago that now are. So it's a mega, mega exciting time for wine. And this is, this is great that we've been recognised for this and we're going to try our best to keep on going. And it never stops. There's always somewhere new to discover. There's always a new, uh, somebody taking over the winery from their parents or uh, discovering a new terroir to celebrate. And so we love being part of that conversation. It's fantastic. And is it possible to drink a decent British red wine? We're still working on that. The whites and the sparklings are fantastic and there's definitely a lot to celebrate there but yeah we'll yeah, get we'll get back to you on the red wine stick to stick to french for now <laughs> for maybe in 30 years maybe yeah. our children will be making good red wine yeah pinot noir from hampshire yeah who it, knows here's to global warming <laughs> well we're delighted absolutely delighted you know um for us the whole the, the hospitality experience is about about hospitality in terms of service of course but the food is absolutely critical and for us the wine is maybe a bit more important than it is for some of the restaurants i don't know i mean that's kind of what we've always staked a big claim on is to is to really care about the wine and make sure that our wine is exciting and uh, there's a reason for people to come back and, and drink different different ways every time they come and dine with us so to win an award which uh, acknowledges that even though it's only for the red wine and our white wine list is brilliant as well but uh, <laughs> it's yeah it's a real honor we're absolutely delighted people are more into red wine than into white, but we're, we're really pleased that we won this award. But um, there's never ever been a better time for drinking red, white, orange, fortified wine <laughs> than 2019. So we're mega pleased to have won this award. Uh, you know, we travel around to different wine regions all the time. They're going to go and taste with producers, and we write about it for our magazine. So to get this award for our wine list is, is really special for us. And it's great that the awards are trying to do something different as well. Uh, we really appreciate it. So um, there wasn't enough of wine actually during the awards, so we're feeling a little yeah. bit down on no, our quota. Wasn't. That's definitely something we're for hoping next there's year, a backstage yeah. bar here now, <laughs> so we can drink we as can much can red wine as is humanly <laughs> possible. No wine but, <laughs> no, um, Yeah, well, probably not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, thank you very much.